Thanks for joining us for the Member Excite presentation. The Member Excite presentation is informative, interesting to the audience, and showcases the strengths of the presenter as an entrepreneur and their area of expertise. It's not a sales pitch, it's a 10 minute educational and insightful exploration into what they do. And of course, it's exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our BX Excite presenter today, Ray Ken from Endorphin Wealth Management to present to us on, Leave the life you want, manage the business you want. Are you a business owner that is missing out on living the life you want because you are caught up with the day to day, without time to think about what you really want from life and how to fund it? Ray works with senior executives, professionals, and business owners to organize and manage their finances and build their personal wealth so they can focus on building their business and still live the life they want. His clients typically do not have the time, patience, connections, and skill set to achieve their personal financial goals as they are focused on building their business. Ray will present on the benefits of putting in place a wealth strategy focused around personal goals, what you want of life, not business-related goals. Ray's passion is helping time poor business owners, senior executives, and professionals get the best out of their personal finances so they can focus on managing their business. Norfin is a privately owned and operated boutique financial advisory that focuses on strategic, non-product-led advice. Ray has over 20 years industry experience and leads investments in advice for the Sydney Office of Endorphin Wealth Management, recognised by IFA, Independent Financial Advisor Magazine Excellence Awards in the categories of Holistic Advice Firm, Client Servicing Firm and Investment Advisor of the year 2017, 2018 and 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ray Can. Um, good morning, BX. So for today's exit, I thought I'd take the opportunity to demystify what exactly financial advisors do to help our clients um, so that you can understand that for when you are talking to your clients. Um, to make it easier, I thought the format of today's presentation will be um, in first person to you directly rather than a more general uh, presentation made in th third person. Um, so my target audience is a business owner, senior professional, busy lives, seemingly seeming um, to struggle to make the time to organize their personal finances so that they can get ahead and afford the life um, that they want. So I think um, this picture really underpins the main issue my clients have, and it's really just having a, di a disproportionate focus on their business um, and their work um, and having little time to reflect on what really makes them happy. Um, let alone having an overall plan to finance that life um, now and into the future. So I think it's okay um, with most businesses that you love what you're doing. Um, but I don't think most people put aside the time um, and have a strategy to put aside the money to, to really enjoy life um, and to ask themselves what, it, what it's all for. So our approach starts with understanding you, your situation, your story, and what makes you happy, and then identifying the possibilities and the challenges ahead of you. Um, it means helping people prioritize their main goals, but also plan for expected changes that we can identify and see coming up. So my personal philosophy is to live life with purpose, but also to remember to have fun and to enjoy the ride. Because life is short, let's just admit it. So most of my clients are not living that kind of life. And when they come to me, they don't really have a full understanding of their net asset position and their cash flow and how to really optimize their current position to get more out of life than they previously thought financially possible. So when everything is professionally planned and managed, um, clients find that they do not have to stress about their personal finances and how everything is going to work, in addition to everything else that's on their plate at work. The first step for me is, is, is for everyone to prioritize and reflect on what's a priority now and then what really needs to, to change. Um, 
this is a little bit about me. The main things are I do have quite a lot of years of experience. I'm a bit more older than I look. Um, grew up in Maruba, um, live in Glebe, um, and generally have a great life um, and good li work-life balance. I find talking to clients that the main things stopping them from achieving what they want is usually them. <laughs> um, and we're all really good at making excuses, putting things off, not doing anything about it, um, or trying to do things that we're really not, that are really not in our core skill set. So I think that's my key difference. Um, I actually appreciate that the key missing ingredient with most people is time. All of these factors can creep up on you without you even noticing. And then before you know it, time has gotten away. With compounding of returns, it is this time that later translates into freedom, a freedom that most business owners find, find hard to realize on their own. Ultimately, my role is helping clients get the confidence and take control so that they don't miss out on that sense of freedom. It's the opportunity cost that counts. In practice, that means understanding your hopes, dreams and fears, and me putting yourself in your shoes and applying my acquired knowledge and experience to really maximize the prob probabilities of success and reducing the risks as much as possible on the great slippery slope of life. If we can just look at this slide and just appreciate a lot, how many transitions we typically go through in life that we need to actually plan and finance for. Um, when I really get to know a client and understand what they're facing, I get a bit of a life blueprint and then I can begin to help them start planning to maximize the likelihood of success and mitigating the known risks and paths to failure. A lot of which um, were on the slide a couple, couple slides ago. Um, I think from a refer referral partner uh, relationship, you can also see how financial planning is a natural conduit uh, to many other professionals in the BX network. Um, so when we map it out, um, we get to enable or help a client appreciate really what the big picture is. Um, and I think it's important to help clients visualize what the significant life transitions look on, look like on paper, um, you know, common things that we can plan for include purchasing for a house, starting a family, caring for an aged parent, retirement, downsizing, upsizing, and, and so forth. Um, I think where we really help and what where most people often lack skill is in the detail and being able to model out the consequences of financial decisions. We add a lot of value by considering issues such as ownership structures, um, tax, borrowing, asset protection, structuring distributions or revenue from, from businesses. It all gets quite complicated, um, but it does add significant value when done properly, which is why my clients outsource to a professional who is motivated by really servicing their best interests. So at the end of the day, remember we are asking about the why and what is it all for? So at Endorphin, we use the, the return on life index to quantify the why into three broad categories, well-being progress and freedom. The key to the index is to use it as a way of highlighting the aspects of life that the client would like to make some improvements in. If we are using our money in life in a manner that improves our well-being, as well as our sense of progress and freedom, then we know that we are getting the best life 
for our money. It's a way for us to measure success without quoting what investment markets done last month, but really rather measuring the progress. So hopefully I've left everyone here today with a sense of optimism in terms of what is possible with proper planning. And I hope as well that I have demystified what advisors actually do and how we can actually make a meaningful impact to those in your circle. At the end of the day, it is a very personalized process that aims to give clients back a sense of freedom and control in their everyday lives. That's a little bit about who I work with and who my clients are. Um, and this is a little bit about, um, I do have a lot of quality contacts in my own circle. Um, and I welcome everyone today to contact me and reach out for a complimentary 30 minute discovery meeting. So, um, you know, we can cover some of the issues I've talked about today. Fantastic, Ray. That was an awesome presentation. Thank you. Um, and I mean, I know myself, I believe in going to specialists when there's something that has to be taken care of. We can't do everything. So it's very important to go to someone who specializes in a particular area. But I thought it'd be great for some people to ask some questions. So does anybody have anything that they want to ask Ray? Nobody there? I've got a question. All right, go for it. Uh, but my question is, you mentioned um, that you know, the number one reason that um, people can't get ahead in life um, is themselves. Um, what do you think, what, what's one of the big factors that, um, you know, one of the personal, big, big personal factors that stops us from achieving what we want to achieve? Um, at the end of the day, it's confidence. And whether or not people recognise it or not, it's a confidence because of either lack of skills, lack of knowledge or lack of trust. Um, and I, I, I generally help clients get over um, those issues so that they can have the confidence to put their capital to use in a more efficient way than, than, than they currently, um, than they typically uh, do when they come to me. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Anybody else want some quick financial advice in 30 seconds? Paul's got his hand up. Paul Sheaf, where are you? Hey, here I am. Uh, yeah, good. Um, good presentation. Thanks, Ray. Um, Self-managed super, and in this uh, particular time of COVID, when um, the government's allowing uh, more people to draw down on their super, and of course, if you've got self-managed super, you can probably do that anyway, but it's a pretty poor time to be pulling out um, funds out of super, particularly if it's heavily invested in shares, which are... Um, what's your advice around things like that? And do you deal in that sort of stuff? Yeah, especially? look, um, certainly long-term savings um, vehicles, actually most people don't realise when they actually draw from their pension over time, most of the actual uh, money they draw from their pension over the time of their lifetime after retirement is from investment returns, not from the contributions that go in um, over the 40 years that they work. So um, the compounding effect is real and very significant. And really what I would be looking is ways of structuring cash flow in order to avoid that. Um, but also um, most of my clients typically have emergency pools of money anyway, so that they can avoid that as well. Awesome, fantastic. Anybody else want to ask anything? Yes, Ingrid. Hey, right. Just one question. Uh, with some people on JobKeeper or jo uh, JobSeeker now, they're able to uh, get into their own super for $10,000. Mm. Mm. Uh, do you advise, um, is it a good time uh, probably to um, boost, um, to invest into property? Like maybe, uh, you know, they they never had a chance of owning their own yeah. first home um, ever until now. Is it, is, is it a, a good time to invest in property? Um, you otherwise? Yeah, look, I, I would say if you don't have a property or you are looking to, to, um, to invest in property for the first time, either as an investor or a, or a owner occupied, um, now, uh, well, I would say over the next six to 12 months, there will be an opportunity to do so if you are employed and have um, the deposit and, and funds to, to deploy. 
um, I think there are going to be opportunities in, in uh, property and share market, the share market still over the next six to 12 months.